With this standard induction electric motor, it will be demonstrated how the performance of any electric motor system would be effectively doubled and the price halved, if simply converted to a patented electric motor circuit and control, or system architecture of best electric machine, or BEM, called SynchroSim. SynchroSim's transformational leap in price performance improvement is in addition to other price performance improving techniques, that all electric motor manufacturers have strategically incorporated into the same century-old electric motor circuit and control architecture as their competitors, such as off-the-shelf or advanced materials, packaging, manufacturing, winding, and design optimizing techniques. To prepare the viewer for the demonstration, a short 13-minute overview of basic electric motor or generator components and design fundamentals will now necessarily follow. All rotating or linear electromagnetic motors and generators, traditionally called electric machines, are no different from this standard induction electric motor, which comprises four basic components. First component, the stator or stationary assembly, includes a balanced multi-phase AC winding set that is excited with bidirectional multi-phase AC electrical power directly through its terminals. Only a balanced multi-phase AC winding set, which is independently excited with multi-phase bidirectional power directly through its terminals, i.e., active winding set, produces a rotating magnetic field relative to its frame that does real work, by actively contributing electrical power to the electrical to mechanical, or electromechanical, conversion process. Second component, the rotor, or rotating assembly, which for this standard induction electric motor example, includes the so-called squirrel cage winding set. Without an independent, bidirectional, multi-phase electrical power connection to the terminals of the squirrel cage winding set, the cost, size, and electrical loss for a rotating electrical connection means are conveniently eliminated, but unlike the stator, the rotor cannot actively contribute electrical power to the electromechanical conversion process. Instead, the rotor squirrel cage winding power of the standard induction electric motor is a mutually inductive coupled component of the stator active winding power by a speed-based asynchronous movement or slip phenomenon, called slip induction. In effect, the rotor only passively participates in the electromechanical power conversion process by simply completing the magnetic circuit path across the air gap to establish the mutual air gap flux density. Without violating basic motor operating principles, the passive squirrel cage winding is often replaced with other means that also have no direct bidirectional multi-phase AC electrical power connection for independently contributing real electrical power to the electromechanical conversion process such as passive rotor saliencies, for the reluctance electric machine, passive rotor direct current or DC electromagnets, for the DC field wound synchronous electric machine, or passive rotor. Permanent magnets, that replace the DC electromagnets for the coveted permanent magnet synchronous electric machine. Note, it follows that the passive rotor consumes nearly half of the electric machine core real estate, as does the stator, with similar size, cost, electrical loss, or thermal dissipation as the stator, but unlike the stator, the passive rotor does not actively contribute additional electrical power to the electromechanical power conversion process. So, in effect, the passive rotor is worse than just wasted electric machine real estate. Third component, the air gap separating the rotor from the stator, where the speed-synchronized rotor and stator rotating magnetic field vectors superpose to establish the air gap flux density and to provide the electromechanical power conversion by pushing or pulling on the other's magnetic field in accordance with the electrical excitation frequency, and voltage, directly applied to the terminals of the balanced multi-phase AC winding set of the stator. Fourth component, all other structural and mechanical components that do not actively contribute to the electromechanical power conversion process, but instead, provide air gap dimensional integrity under enormous magnetic and dynamic forces, such as the bearings, housings, end plates, and etc., provide thermal management, such as passive or active cooling, provide reduction of hysteresis and eddy losses, such as special electromagnetic and laminated materials, and provide high winding. Conductivity and voltage isolation, such as special insulated magnet wire and winding arrangements. Note, ironically, the structural and mechanical components add similar but significant size, cost, energy loss, thermal management, or design effort to any electric machine as does the electromagnetic design effort. 
As a fifth and increasing critical component of any electric machine system, electronic control of the current, voltage, and excitation frequency of the active winding set is now commonly used to at least implement practical operation of the electric machine, such as for the permanent magnet, reluctance, or doubly fed electric machine, or to tune the performance of any electric machine between the dynamics of the application and the electrical environment. Note, the electronic controller, or drive, of any electric machine compounds the loss, cost, and size of the electric machine system, and as a result, should be equitably included in the overall price performance calculation of any electric machine, system. Still, it is expected that all electric machines will be electric machine systems in the near future because of significant improvement in application performance, such as varying the speed and torque to match the load or ultra-high speed operation for higher electric machine power and specific density. All electric machines show the following basic design fundamentals. Similar electric machine power rating design means similar synchronous speed and torque design under similar voltage, current, and air gap flux density. And the future of electric machine systems, now here comes what we have been waiting for, the synchrosim magic. Simply retrofit the passive rotor element, such as the squirrel cage winding set of the standard induction electric motor, with a similar active balanced multi-phase AC winding set as the stator, and replace the traditional multi-phase slip ring assembly and state-of-art electronic controller, such as any derivative of field-oriented control, with a brushless real-time emulation controller to sensorlessly and automatically assure synchronized, speed and position, to, frequency and phase. Multi-phase excitation power supplied directly to the rotor active winding set in order to eliminate any functional reliance on reluctance or slip induction with known speed regions of discontinuity and instability, such as about synchronous speed where slip induction becomes vague or ceases to exist. Replaced with a very compact, high-frequency, position-dependent flux rotating transformer of significantly higher power density inherently providing the analog processing for real-time emulation control. The multi-phase slip ring assembly may well represent SynchroSim's brushless real-time emulation controller assembly and accordingly, at least the following transformation leaps in price performance result. First transformational leap, the new retrofitted electric motor system becomes the only practical, brushless, multi-phase wound rotor, doubly fed, synchronous, electric machine system that contiguously provides symmetrically stable motoring, and generating operation from sub-synchronous to super-synchronous speeds, including about the unstable synchronous speed and zero regions. Note, practical operation of all other electric motors is only from sub-synchronous to synchronous speed because of conventional state-of-art control and stability, such as any derivative of field-oriented control. Second transformational leap, the new retrofitted electric motor system collectively shows the power of two active winding sets on the rotor and stator, respectively or twice the rated power, in the same package as the original standard induction electric motor, but also, with the same materials, the same cost of materials, the same electrical loss, and the same thermal dissipation as the original standard induction electric motor, or system. Note, if considering the retrofit of a permanent magnet electric machine, the additional extravagant cost and real estate associated with cartel-controlled rare earth permanent magnets are conveniently eliminated and thereby, leaving only relatively inexpensive copper and electrical steel as the remaining materials to consider. Third transformational leap, since efficiency, electrical loss, cost, size, and thermal dissipation are always normalized to the power rating of any electric motor, the new electric motor with the collective power of two similarly rated active winding sets on the rotor and stator, respectively, reasonably evaluates to half the size and weight, half the electrical loss, half the cost, and half the thermal loss, per power rating, as the original standard induction electric motor, with the collective power of only one similarly rated active winding set. Fourth transformational leap, with contiguous and stable operation from sub-synchronous to super-synchronous speeds, including about synchronous speeds, the new electric motor system shows twice the speed of any other electric machine for a given pole pair count, voltage, and excitation frequency of the active winding set, i.e., 7200 rpm with 60 Hz and 1 pole pair, versus, 3600 rpm for the conventional electric machine system, 
which is a recognized characteristic associated with half the cost, half the electrical loss, twice the power density, and twice the specific density. Fifth transformational leap, in accordance with the physics of a truly dual-ported transformer circuit topology as provided by a fully electromagnetic electric machine system with the convenience of a balanced multi-phase copper wound rotor that is actively and stably enabled by brushless real-time emulation control, including about zero speed and synchronous speed. Conservation of energy dictates that the air gap flux density of the new electric motor system remains constant with increasing current, or torque, on each side of the air gap beyond magnetizing MMF. As a result, peak startup torque can increase substantially above all other electric machines without leading to magnetic core saturation, or higher port voltage, such as four times the peak startup torque of a similarly rated induction, reluctance, permanent magnet, or even universal electric machine system. The only practical, brushless, balanced multi phase wound rotor, synchronous, doubly fed electric machine system that is symmetrically stable while motoring and generating. Surprisingly, Synchrosim's transformational improvement in price performance just demonstrated was already theoretically substantiated and published in the 1960s by academia, but the development of a practical synchronous doubly fed electric machine system was essentially abandoned, after realizing the necessary enabling invention of a brushless, sensorless, and automatic control means to eliminate instability, particularly about zero or synchronous speed or during motoring, as only provided. By Synchrosim's brushless real-time emulation control or BRTEC, was beyond the technology of that time. Synchrosim's doubling of price performance improvement over all other practical electric machine systems was verified by modeling and simulation with a computer-aided design tool specifically developed by BEM for the new dual-ported electric motor transformer circuit topology and brushless real-time emulation control architecture of Synchrosim. Also, BEM complemented modeling and simulation verification of the Synchrosim architecture with multiple stages of production prototyping for functional validation of the Synchrosim architecture. Now, consider Synchrosim versus the futuristic superconductor electric machine system. Synchrosim is the only practical and stable electric machine system that replaces the wasted passive rotor found in all other electric machines, including the superconductor electric machine system which reasonably consumes half of the real estate of the electric machine but without contributing to electromechanical power production, with an active rotor to effectively achieve similar power density, specific density, and efficiency as the superconductor field-wound synchronous electric machine system, but with proven off-the-shelf technology, and without the significant ancillary loss, cost, size, reliability, maintainability, and complexity.